Now this is uh, objective solved example question number 34. Now uh, you can see <coughs> if you look at the left hand side, the very first look it looks complex, right? And this is the right hand side. But if you look at the denominator here, that will give us an idea that if you take calcium on this side, denominators will cancel out. So the most obvious step is you take calcium on this side, get as integer x whole square minus get as integer of x minus 2 whole square divided by get as integer of x minus 2 into get as integer of x equals to 8 into fractional part of x plus 12 divided by get as integer of x minus 2 into get as integer of x. Now this cancels out and you can see we got a simplified form as compared to what is given in the question and we can simplify it further because you can see um, there's a very typical step very oftenly we use this that if in greatest integer we have x plus minus integer we write this as greatest integer x and we take out the plus minus integer out integer can be brought out from the greatest integer sign so something which is very commonly used same here we can take minus 2 out of the greatest integer and we can write this greatest integer minus 2 instead of greatest integer of x minus 2 greatest integer x minus 2 whole square we can take 4 out 4 into um, fractional part of 2 into fractional part of x plus 3 now we can apply a square minus b square formula a square minus a minus b factor is 2 and a plus b is 2 into greatest integer x right this plus this minus 2 equals to 4 take 2 common and cancel 4 right so we take 2 common so outside we will have 2 into 2 4 cancel that now the sim what we have is greatest integer x minus 1 equals to 2 into fractional part of x plus 3 so it is greatest integer x equ equals to 2 into fractional part of x plus 4 <sighs> now see we have to solve this equation one approach is you can do it mathematically but this is something which I don't suggest you first go is to try graphically and if you it's very difficult to figure out points of intersection graphically then we can come back to mathematical approach and, and see again uh, like number of we have to find number of we have to find solutions of this right uh, yes you have to find solutions of this so we'll, we'll draw graph of y equals to greatest integer x and y equals to 2 into fractional part of x minus 4 sorry plus 4 to draw the second graph we draw uh, we draw y equal to 2 into fractional part of x and then shift this and then replace y by y minus 4 means shift this graph 2 units 4 units up right to draw this graph to fractional part of x graph you you know right so the only difference that because of this 2 the the you know fractional part of x lies between 0 and 1 and this is the graph this is the graph of fractional part of x I hope you remember this graph very important you have to always remember this now when 2 is there it means all these values which are terminating at 1 will go up till 2 that's the only change critical points are the, the, these intervals are same only the height will change so so this is the graph Now we have to shift this graph 4 units up, right? So it means that shifting 4 units up means we can, another option is we can bring shift our x axis down. This will become 6, this will become 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Same thing you can either shift graph up or, or you can bring x axis down. So this is our graph and 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स राइट सेवन गोज ऑन नो सेकेंड ग्राफ इज ग्रेटेस्ट इंटेजर ग्राफ ग्रेटेस्ट इंटेजर ग्राफ यू नो इट गोज लाइक दिस वाईक टू ग्रेटेस्ट इंटेजर एक्स so we are getting one one point of intersection here at x equal to 4 right the other point of intersection will be like this here and after that it will go like this so there's no more no further points of intersection beyond this right you can see the points there are only two points of intersection one is x equal to 4 and other is here this is this this you can you can you know uh, between between 5 and 6 it lies between 5 and 6 and uh, 2 into fractional part of x plus 4 between x equal to 5 and 6 is you know this is 2 into so let's write here between x between 5 and 6 so we have figured out from graph point of intersection between 5 and 6 between 5 and 6 you know equation will change like this greatest integer of x equals uh, let's let me write the equation between 5 and 6 this is equal to 5 and this is fractional part of x is x minus greatest integer x so it is x minus greatest integer x is 5 plus 4 So it is fifteen uh, x equal to eleven by two, right? So this point of intersection is eleven by two. The say value of x is eleven, and by inspection also we can say eleven by two. Why? Because the midpoint of the two by symmetry we can say midpoint of the two eleven by two, and other is a four. So there are two points of intersection four and eleven by two. There are two values of x where the two are equal four and eleven by two. right